Hi guys, I'm going to do a short video on the Sony PSB80 BioTracer record deck. Uh, it's made by Sony in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, and it's called a BioTracer because it has this BioTracer arm, which sounds very environmental and, and a bit of a weird name, but it's because it reacts to the local conditions when it's playing a record, hence the bio bit. Uh, basically, the arm is controlled uh, elect electromagnetically uh, and the, if there are vibrations taking place that shouldn't be happening, as happens with uh, arm resonances, the electromagnets kind of take a grip of the arm and stop it vibrating. So consequently, you get this amazing CD-like sound out of it. Very, very stop-start clean sound that you don't normally associate with vinyl, much as I like vinyl my, my, myself. I'll give you a, a quick uh, overview of the controls. Um, arm, uh, le left and right control cursors. No need to touch the arm at all, really. Uh, an up and down which raises and lowers the arm off the record um, the motor start button if you want to use it manually um, the very high torque motor it starts it's at full speed within half a revolution uh, that's the auto start button which will take the arm and, and it'll land on the record in this case it won't land on the record hopefully uh, because there is no record on the platter uh, and the way it knows that is because in this little post here shines infrared light across the platter and these slots detect uh, whether the light is going through uh, the outer slots, the inner slots or, 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 no, or no slots. If no light is getting through the slots it means it's got a 12 inch record. If it's going through some of the uh, slots it means it's 7 inch and no slots means there is no record so that's why it won't allow the arm to, uh, to progress beyond that point. The stylus force is applied, again, electromagnetically. Uh, there is no counterweight as such uh, to, to adjust the way there is with conventional turntables. Um, and uh, the, it's, so you just set, really, whatever weight you want on this dial, and that's the weight that will be applied to the arm when it lands on the record. In the case of this cartridge, it's 1.5 grams. Um, a speed control, a rather cute little nifty uh, stylus cleaner, the thing which drops the uh, arm down onto this rotating brush. Isn't that just the cutest thing on the planet? And uh, that's basically the con controls on the, the deck. It is a massive electronics inside, but if you do find one uh, that, is, that is available that is, is kind of working, it just grab it because uh, I know a very clever guy here in the UK that can sort them out, whatever the problem is. Well, 99% of the time anyway. Uh, and it'll be like nothing you've ever bought or heard when you get it home. Um, anyway, I'll just put a record on. There we go. Now, uh, obviously, clean the record, but I won't in this case. Uh, but the um, auto start stop button, what, what the arm does is that when it goes back to its rest, it kind of rebalances the arm to zero. So this red light, when I push the auto start button, this red light will come on to indicate that the arm is balancing and the arm won't start playing the record until the arm has balanced out the cartridge. If the red light stays on, it means it's unable to balance the cartridge for whatever reason uh, and it won't, it won't play the record. The reason might be that the cartridge is too heavy and there is this ancillary weight which screws in the back there to, to assist when you've got very exceptionally heavy cartridges. But otherwise, it works every time. If it doesn't work, then there is there's some electronic adjustment that needs to be done inside but uh, the, the best thing to do with the biotracer decks is to use them regularly because they just go on and on anyway I push the auto start button you can see that the red light has come on and the arm has rebal rebalanced itself uh, and off it goes to play the record now um, that would obviously play the record and at the end lift off and go and sit back in uh, on, 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 its, on its rest there. But I'm going to sort of uh, lift the arm off uh, by pressing this button here. 
and it'll go back to the to its rest. Notice the turntable stops, but the arm keeps moving. There is no mechanical linkage like old-fashioned record changes between the arm and the turntable. They're two very separate uh, functions, and there's no degradation uh, because because the arm is, is automatic or anything like that. And that's basically the PSP-80. As I said, if you do get the chance to um, uh, get one, hold of one of these, or it's slightly simpler but still fantastic Sony PSX-75 turntable, which is a biotracer, uh, grab them because they do make an extraordinarily good uh, vinyl player. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Bye now.